They did it! They finally did it! America, what is happening? The cancel rent movement, it looks like it has finally won! At least in L.A. County, from what I can gather, the recent legislation is effectively outlawing landlords, right? That is essentially what is happening. I am shocked. I mean, I don't know if I should be shocked with the way things are going in L.A. County and the rest of California. But if you are out there trying to operate as a rental property owner in L.A. County or the entire state of California, you need to watch today's show as we try to unpack the madness that is happening in America today. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I am here to answer your real estate questions, talk to you about the hottest topics in the real estate industry. And honestly, today, I I'm just here to cry with you, man. If you are in California, specifically L.A. County, holy fuck, what in the absolute hell is happening to this country, man. Do you guys remember? Well, I mean, most of you, obviously, you're not old enough to remember. Either am I, right? We're, I'm on YouTube, right? If you're old enough to remember when this actually happened, you're probably not on a smartphone. But at one point, America was against communism. Woo! We didn't like commies, right? Y'all remember the Cold War? We was like, commies, get them! What happened? That sure as shit doesn't seem like that's what's going on today, man. Try being a rental property owner in L.A. County, okay? L.A. County just extended the eviction moratorium. Eviction-free L.A., folks. It's a trending hashtag. Basically, these fucking communist motherfuckers have essentially made it Illegal to be a landlord. I mean, they didn't specifically write a law that says it's against the law to be a landlord, but, I mean, they pretty much did, dude. They cut you guys off at the knees, okay? Uh, this uh, thing is going to extend. Fuck. Pause. God damn it. <laughs> ah, welcome back. Technical uh, difficulties. My, my mouse stopped working. It must be a tenant in L.A. <laughs> Los Angeles County's Board of Supervisors voted Tuesday to extend countywide eviction protections through the end of this year. The board also continued to freeze on rent hikes for many tenants in unincorporated parts of the county. Under the new rules, blah, 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 blah. 2023! 2023, people! What? COVID-19! covid 19, you know what that means? 19, 2019. That's when that stuff popped off. Freaking three years. Three years. They've said, hey, guess what? We're commandeering your property, and we're going to give it to this schmo over here, and there ain't fuck all you can do about it. For three years. I don't understand how people in America are accepting this. What is this? this? This is not America. This is not the America I know. How in the hell, in the day and age of COVID inflation on everything, can people sit there with a straight face and think it's acceptable to steal property from all of these people who live in L.A. County and just redistribute it to anybody they want, right? The cancel rent culture has literally won. It has won the war in L.A. County. That's insane. I cannot believe cancel rent is actually a thing in America. Three years, the vilification of landlords, right? Cancel rents or people die. Why? I don't see any landlords out there killing it. Well, okay, yes, I do see landlords killing people, and we do talk about that on the Landlords from Hell show. But in regards to this whole thing, I do not see landlords out there killing anybody. How 
has this thing taken off where they have vilified landlords and, and the government has chosen uh, select groups of people and said, you are now financially responsible for these people. This is pure insanity. Save lives, stop evictions. How about the government steps up and subsidizes stuff? California, nobody pays more taxes than Californians. What is happening with all that tax money, right? How did we in America turn into a socialist nation, a communist nation where private property owners are just having their property literally commandeered, literally stolen. This is not the America that Hulk Hogan wanted to see for our children. This is not the America that old wooden teeth envisioned when he signed the Declaration of Independence. Honest Abe. Man was about freedom. This isn't free. This one is a controversial one. We're going to skip him as a hero. But everybody can agree that the macho man would not accept socialism, folks. And here, I'm not just a crazy Republican, folks. I'm a very pragmatic guy. Oh, Wild Bill, baby. Wild Bill was the best Democratic president in my lifetime. I like Wild Bill. I think even Wild Bill himself has an issue with socialism taking over, allowing California, L.A. County to do this. Wild Bill. Wild Bill believes in work, folks. Something that the California tenants sure as shit don't believe in, obviously. You know what my daddy always used to tell me, folks? He said, hey, man, you know that Monica thing? Think about it. The Yeah. Did, did Wild Bill take a blowy in the office? Yeah, he did. But guess what? Where'd he take that blowy, folks? In the office. Because he was working. Okay? The man was working. Something I'd like to see our California tenants do. So here's the deal. You don't got to work if you're in California and you rent a house. Why? Because you could just take some other asshole's property. You don't got to pay rent. California, this is why you're seeing a mass exodus. This is why landlords are leaving the state. Whether or not they're leaving the state physically and moving to places like Texas, places to like Arizona, whether they're physically doing that or moving their money out of the state, right, with companies like mine, companies that allow California investors to invest their money in markets where, A, the rental properties are cheaper, B, the rental properties actually make cash flow, and C, the government doesn't just take the fucking property away from you whenever they see fit. But don't worry, Californians. Don't worry, L.A. County. Guess what? Guess what? I know you don't have the ability to evict tenants who don't pay rent, so it's completely up to your tenants to decide whether or not they want to pay you. But guess what? There's good news. If you're a California landlord and you are lucky enough to meet one of those tenants who's like, hey, man, guess what? I'm going to go ahead and pay you, pay you some rent. I'm going to pay you rent, bro. I know I don't fucking have to pay you rent, but I'm going to go ahead and pay you rent. If you're one of those lucky California landlords who's just like, please, sir, please pay me rent. I got to pay the mortgage. I got to pay the utilities. I got to pay for repairs. This is post-COVID. Inflation has killed everybody. Why the government decided to just take a steaming turd on me, Joe Blow landlord, I don't know. But thank you so much for agreeing to pay your rent, Mr. Tenant. Well, guess what? If you find yourself lucky enough, to get a tenant who is actually willing to pay you rent, right? You can't even pick what you charge them. California's like, no, fuck you. They're going to pay you whatever the fuck they want, right? You can't choose the price of your product, right? Imagine that, right? You're selling a car. Government's like, nah, you can't sell it for that price. You got to sell it for whatever the tenant wants. That's basically what happened, right? L.A. has completely frozen all rent hikes until 2023. Look at this kid. Jacob Guardero. This fucking piece of shit. Fuck you, Jacob Guardero. I can't believe the L.A. Times. Like, how do they write fucking crap like this, right? Dude, like, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm an investor. I'm a landlord myself. And constantly, you get the crazy liberal media that's always out there vilifying us as landlords, vilifying us for this, vilifying us for that, right? Like, you get a tenant in your property, they steal from you, and you're outside of L.A. County, and you decide to evict them. Everybody's like, oh, my God! 
Landlords are such horrible people. They made that person homeless. But then at the same time, say you're a landlord, you have a tenant in your property, and you don't evict him, then you get everybody else in the neighborhood like, oh, my God, what a slumlord. They're moving horrible tenants into our nice neighborhood. They're destroying our neighborhood, letting whoever they want rent to the properties. And now our neighborhood's terrible. These landlords moved in these bad Section 8 tenants. They ruined our properties. So as landlords, when we evict people, the left vilifies us. When we don't evict people, the left vilifies us, right? So <laughs> what do we do, right? You can't evict them. If you, can't, if you evict them, you're, you're an asshole. You made people homeless. If you don't evict them, you're an asshole. You ruin the neighborhood. So you might be thinking, well, duh, just don't put them in the property in the first place, idiot. Okay, great. So then the left can vilify you because you're denying people housing. They're just good people who need a chance. Sure, Johnny stole four cars eight years ago, and he just got out of a, seven to five, a five to seven stretch, but he's turned his life around. Yeah, he likes crystal meth on the weekends, but that's just the weekends, man. Who doesn't party, right? Why would you deny him housing? Hell, how many laws out there now are saying, like, you can't actually uh, utilize criminal uh, criminal history as a deciding factor for tenant screening, right? So if you put in a bad tenant, the left says, no, nope, fuck you, you can't evict them, okay? If you put in a bad tenant and you don't evict them, the left says, oh, man, you're a horrible landlord. You ruined this neighborhood, okay? If you just don't put in risky tenants in the first place, the left says, nope, fuck you. You're denying good people housing. Felons deserve a second chance, right? That's the kind of stuff we're dealing with. That's the kind of publications we're dealing with. And then they write stuff about this fucking piece of shit. Jacob Guardado inside his two-bedroom apartment in Studio City. He moved there with a roommate in October 2020. The bottom of the rental market and is benefiting from the freeze of rent increases. So the kid got like some crazy socialist loophole and he's sticking it to some private property owner. Like what in the hell is this, folks? Have like we lost all perspective? Have we vilified landlords to the point where this fucking kid is just taking advantage of somebody, stealing from somebody like how do you know this kid is more sympathetic than his landlord? What if his landlord is like a 95-year-old grandma on a fixed income, right? And she can't afford uh, her medicine because this fucking prick won't pay her what her property is worth on the open market, right? That's the cool thing about capitalism. You might be like, ah, oh, she's charged too much for rent. Well, this is America, motherfucker. We got something called capitalism. Let little old granny put her property on the market and see what the market will actually pay. You know, this is, or at least it used to be, a free freaking country, right? After seven months of a global pandemic spent in a cramped one-bedroom apartment, Jacob, Jacob Guardado and his roommate decided to make a move. They found a Studio City two-bedroom in October 2020 for 1975 a month, right? So that's, that's what happens in capitalism. That's what happens when we have a fair market, a free market, right? Stuff goes up, stuff goes down, stuff goes up, stuff goes down. It's called supply and demand. So Let's just say they're landlord. Maybe it's a little old granny. Maybe it's not. I get it. Landlords like me, big companies, y'all could vilify them. I'm sure nobody's out there like, man, I wouldn't feel bad getting one over on this bearded fuck. I get that, right? I'm not the most sympathetic guy, but guess what? I don't own this property. I don't own every property in the world. People like me are not everyone's landlord. Somewhere in L.A. County, I challenge you. I challenge you to think, open your mind, and realize that somewhere in L.A. County, the landlord really is some little old lady on a fixed income, right? And supply and demand. Right when COVID popped off, nobody wanted to move. This kid, this young kid, able-bodied-looking motherfucker, 28, and his, uh, his roommate there, able-bodied motherfuckers, nothing wrong with them. They could work. They could do jobs, right? They can pay for their wages. They they found a landlord who was in a tough spot, had to take less. Hey, free market gives, free market takes. That's the name of the game. But now, now when things have picked back up, the economy's gotten, uh, well, I mean, outside of Build Back Better. But, like, motherfuckers are working. Uh, inflation went out of control, uh, which, again, really hurts a little granny here on the fixed income. But now that the property's actually worth more, these two fucking pieces of shit don't see anything wrong with taking over their landlord's property, holding it hostage, right? It is just freaking sickening. 
I didn't want to ask, said Gordado28, who works in the insurance industry. He knew, he knew that the landlord had every right and it should be time for his rent to go up. He knew he was getting one over. He was hustling. He was scamming somebody. What happened to us where we think somebody hustling or taking advantage of somebody is a bad thing just because that person is a landlord? Like, Jesus Christ, man, this is out of control. But the rent increase never came, and there won't be one for a while as the U.S. nears the beginning of a third year combating COVID-19. Tenants in L.A. are receiving a benefit few others have. Landlords are prohibited from raising the cost of more than 650,000 rent-stabilized units citywide, which represents nearly three-quarters of L.A.'s apartment block. Man, this is freaking sad. Of those 650,000 units you don't believe, at least one of those is a little granny. Under the rules, landlords are not allowed to increase rents for an entire year after the expiration of the emergency order signed by Mayor Eric Garcetti in March 2020 when the policy went into effect. As of now, no rent hikes will be allowed for most L.A. tenants until 2023. Three freaking years beyond when this whole thing started. What is celebrated by tenants and their advocates is laminated by la lamented, lamented, sorry, lamented by landlords who say the freeze puts them in an untenable situation. We have to pay mortgages and pay utilities, said Ari Chanzanas, president of Lotus West Properties, which manages about 1,000 apartments across the city. I think there's a lot of fatigue from people like me because it's going on for so long. Landlords in L.A. say costs have risen sharply, including labor and materials for building repairs as well as city fees for trash pickup. That's what I touched on earlier, dude. Inflation is up everywhere, right? Food is up. Housing is up to buy, right? Not to rent, obviously. Uh, gasoline. Building materials, labor, everything is up. It's a free market economy. That's what happens. But then the government comes in. And because of these just ultra-radical left-wing groups, these woke people that just bitch louder and louder, they tweet harder and harder than anybody else. Places like L.A. County took 650,000 apartments and just laid an unconstitutional smackdown on those poor property owners. And I guarantee you, a lot of them, a lot of them are those little old ladies. Sure, this Ari guy manages a 1,000 apartments. Yeah, all right, I get it. You're like, fuck that guy. Fuck James Wise. These, these corporate landlords have a bunch of properties, have systems. I get it. But what about those mom and pop landlords? What about the little old lady, okay? And you might be thinking, well, what about assistance from the government? The government gave out $635 million in rental assistance to these very L.A. tenants. So I want to know, where did we go wrong as a country that it is okay for the government to pick and choose who gets what? Where did we go wrong where the government's like, you can keep your house, you can keep your house, you can keep your house. No, nope, not you. You have to give your house to this guy. Sorry, little old granny. Jacob Guadardo, the insurance employee, doesn't fucking think he should pay anymore, so we're just going to let him steal your property. He's going to pay you whatever he wants. But don't worry. If he stops paying, you could evict him. Oh, wait. Nope, you can't fucking do that either. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.